Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited, I'm up bright and early, I'm a little tired, but you guessed it, we're trying more new makeup. The new makeup is dropping left and right, so I have a bunch of products that I wanna test out. Some viral, some affordable, some high-end, so we're gonna do it all. I will link everything that I talk about today down below in my description box. If you enjoy first impression videos, give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe, and let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've got you zoomed in, and I'm gonna start off with some products from this month's BoxyCharm. Shout out to BoxyCharm for sponsoring this portion of today's video. BoxyCharm is the only monthly beauty subscription service that allows you to have full size brand name beauty products, not sample size. They come to your door every month, free shipping, and they give you five full size products from brand names like Glow Recipe, Beauty Bakery, Natasha Denona, the list goes on. They also offer different box options from the base to the Lux box, and depending on your membership, Charmers can choose up to three products from each box. And after signing up, you take the beauty quiz so BoxyCharm can send products that will work for your preferences and needs. So BoxyCharm is a great way to discover new brands, maybe find some new favorites, and we all know that makeup is getting more expensive every day, so the value on some of these boxes is truly incredible. So if you wanna sign up, they are doing a free gift with purchase right now. I will have the link down below. So you will get five full-size products from brand names plus one full-size product as a free gift for $27.99 a month with free shipping. So if you want to just build your collection, try new products, I think it's a great subscription box that comes every month. You don't have to think about it and you get to try out new things that maybe you haven't heard of. So I will link BoxyCharm down below, but let's go ahead and get into the products in this month's box and see what we think of them. Okay, so here's the inside of this month's box. So I want to start off with the cleanser. I already used this this morning, and this is the La Palette Beauty Vita Yellow Fresh Cleanser. The retail value is $32. So I used this this morning, and it's a really thick thick jelly feel. Almost reminds me of like the e.l.f. gripping primer. It has a light fresh citrus scent and I think that's because it's infused with vitamin C so it's supposed to even your skin tone, smooth it out, and brighten it. So I will let you know an update as I keep using this. I do think this would be a good option if you have more combo oily skin. Okay, the next product in the box is the Better Skin Co. Eye Bright Now. This is an anti-puff, anti-dark circle serum and this retails for $38. $8. This is something I need because I feel like I just am puffy and tired. I don't have really darkness per se. I have more of a like blueness, just tired looking. Okay, this feels really thin. Very, very thin serum. I like that it actually just like glides so you're not tugging. And in terms of fragrance, I feel like it just has a very light spa-like scent, but nothing irritating, which is good. So this month's box actually has an eyeshadow palette. So this is from Beauty Bakery, and it is the Proof is in the Puddin eyeshadow palette. It's a neutral palette, which I was actually excited about. This retails for $38, and you get a array of just neutral shades, which, I mean, that's what I wear every day. I don't feel like I've tried this brand's eyeshadows in a long time, so I'm curious to dive in and see what kind of look I can create. And along with the eyeshadow palette, we have the Benefit They're Real Magnet Extreme Lengthening Mascara in black. This retails for $27. And then we do also have a lipstick. I'm excited to try this. Give Them Lala Beauty. So this is one of her liquid lipsticks, and this retails for $16. If you don't know, Lala is on Vanderpump Rules. So I was actually just watching it the other day. And of course, it's a nude shade. So we'll get into these products as we go, but let's go ahead and just jump in and start on an eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this shade down here, which is just like a light matte shade. And I'm just gonna use this in the crease. It might be a little bit too light. Yeah, I think maybe. So I'll just use this as a base all over. It added a little bit of color, but it's pretty similar to my skin tone. Okay, I'm gonna bump up to this shade up here and hopefully this will be more suited for me in terms of a crease shade. So I'm just gonna blend this very lightly in the crease. 
So the shade is still pretty light. It's a very light transition for my skin tone, but I'm just gonna kind of blend this all over. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into Warm Cocoa. This is the deepest matte, and I'm just gonna use a little pencil brush and just sort of apply this in a halo shape. This is a very soft palette. I wear neutrals and light shades most days, but it definitely is looking deeper in the pan than it is on the eyes. So I'm just sort of fluffing this up. And then just to blend in between, I'm gonna go in with this orange shade. But I'm just gonna use this just to blend. This one almost looks like it has like a satin finish. All right, so now that I built that up, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm just gonna use my finger and put this right in the center, just like that. And then I'm just going to soften the edges. So I'm gonna use this as a base and then I think I'm gonna go in maybe with a lighter shade possibly. And then to make it pop even more, I'm gonna go in with that lightest shimmer shade. And I'm just going to sort of tap this right in the center. It just has more of like a white tone rather than gold. And then I'm just going to soften the edges. So this is overall a really soft look. This palette is a soft palette. So it's more if you like more of like a satin finish or just soft neutrals. So I went ahead and curled my lashes and also from the BoxyCharm box, we have the Benefit They're Real Magnet Lengthening Mascara. So this retails for $27. I feel like I've tried this, but it's been a while. This one has one of those prickly wands, but a lot of times those give me a lot of length. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start coating the lashes. My biggest problem is actually just not getting it all over my lid. So this is definitely not a super wet formula, which I actually prefer. I don't really like when they're super liquidy and wet because I feel like they just get really messy. So this is one coat, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll add another coat. All right, so here's two coats of the Benefit Mascara. It's definitely a drier formula. It doesn't get clumpy and it is easy to build. I'll clean up any messes I have as they dry, but I wanna go ahead and get into complexion. I will have my link to sign up for BoxyCharm down below and get that free full-size gift. And then of course we will be using the Give Them La La Beauty lipstick later in the video. Okay, to moisturize the skin, I did get a huge package from Benefit with all of their new skincare. So I pulled this out. This is the Professional Smooth Sip Smoothing Moisturizer for Pores. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a little jar, tin jar. So I'm just gonna take this and use this as a moisturizer. It feels really nice just upon application. It does have a scent which I hope it's not an added scent, but I think it is. It's a light scent, but it definitely is there. So it's a gel feel and it doesn't feel overly heavy. I do feel like there's a tack to it, but as it dries down, the tack lessens, so it's not like crazy tacky. So I wanna go in next with this L'Oreal primer. L'Oreal came out with a bunch of new primers. I picked up two of them, but I wanna try this one. This is the Prime Lab 24 Hour Pore Minimizer. So I think I'm gonna use this, again, just on one side of my face, just so we can see if it actually makes a difference. This has a gel feel to it, which typically isn't the most smoothing for pores, although I will say like the Hourglass one is very smoothing and it has a similar texture, maybe a little bit more of like a milky jelly. But I'm just gonna smooth this all over the side of my face. I mean, I have to say, looking at my skin, I can definitely see that this side looks like it's smooth, even though it's a little bit red from touching it. It definitely, took the edge off of my pores and texture. I'm interested how makeup will go over this. I've used it a couple times, but I wasn't able to really get my thoughts. So that's why I wanted to do like one side versus the other side so we can really see it. Okay, so for foundation, I picked up the new Gucci Eternite De Beauté 24 hour full coverage luminous matte finish foundation. This retails for 69 doll hairs. Like this is expensive. You do get one ounce. Looking at the shade range, it actually looks pretty good, especially 
for a really high-end brand. It actually looks really good. From what I can see, seems like an even amount for every skin tone. Now this is supposed to have a matte finish, full coverage, long wearing, but then it also says that it has a luminous matte finish. So that's sort of strange. So I picked up the shade 270N, which is medium fair. The packaging is gorgeous and it is like heavy, heavy. So let's swatch this. It's a very thin feel, so I'm curious to try this. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics brush. Okay, I'm trying to feel if there's a scent. I just cleaned my brushes, so there is a scent. Okay, there is a scent. Um, it's like a light floral. It's not just upon my first impression as intense as like the Juvia's Place one I just reviewed, but it's definitely scented, which I wish they wouldn't do. So this is an interesting feel. The color is definitely a little yellow. I'm waiting to see a luminosity once I actually apply it all. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush on the other side, just so we can see how it does over no primer. Okay, so this is what the Gucci foundation looks like freshly applied. The coverage is high. I will say that the side with the smoothing primer does look more smooth to me, but it also looks more matte. This doesn't say it's mattifying. It's supposed to be just pore minimizing. I do feel like I look a lot more luminous on this side of my face. So I think maybe the primer is making everything just look a little bit more matte on this side. So without a primer, I do agree that it does have like a luminous feel to it. It's feeling pretty sticky, like I would have to set it down. I set down all of my foundations. I can't tell if it's oxidizing. I feel like maybe I look a little bit more warm, so keep that in mind, but overall it looks pretty good right now. The real test is when we start putting powder on top. So I wanna go in next. This is completely opposite. We're going from Gucci to Essence, but I have this Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. So I purchased this along with the foundation, but I was more excited to try out the Gucci. But I have the shade shell so this is supposed to be buildable medium coverage creamy texture with aloe vera so we will see how this goes I'm just going to apply this as I normally would it's a very thin texture I'm gonna go ahead and just use the other side of the brush I do feel like just the texture of this is one that if you're looking for more coverage I don't think a sponge would be the best solely because it just feels like one of those that if it started like sucking up the product you would lose that coverage yeah it definitely has like a nice hydrated look to it I feel like it's gonna stay on the you know low medium maybe a little bit buildable but in my problem areas like right here I'd probably have to use a color corrector but I feel like this is sort of on par I want to say with like the NYX bear with me serum but thinner in terms of like coverage and the feel, definitely has like a glow to it, but it's not sticky or heavy. It kind of gives me maybe like a less glowy, say, beauty concealer, but again, it's just a different texture, very thin. So I'm gonna try to add a smidge, like right in my problem area. And you're not gonna get a full coverage no matter how much you build it, but it's definitely probably a good option for every day or if you just want to throw like a corrector underneath but it definitely does have a nice hydrated formula so i'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes and my t-zone with my huda powder and then i want to play around with this makeup forever powder that just came out now you can use the makeup forever like as a foundation but i wanted to try the gucci so if you guys want me to i can do like a demo of the Makeup Forever just alone. All right, so I went ahead and powdered my T-zone and I wanna try this out on the perimeters of my face. So this, I believe, is reformulated. I love the original, but this is the HD Skin Matte Velvet Long Wear Blurring Powder Foundation. So it says, medium to full coverage, lightweight. It blurs the look of imperfections, mattifies. So I'm kind of just confused on like, what's the difference between this and the original? And from looking at the questions and answers on Sephora, it just looks like they don't have talc in this one. 
and they do in the original. So it comes with a little sponge. The shade I have here is 1N14. Now I was sent a few in PR, but I think this one will be best. So I'm just gonna use a really big fluffy brush and I'm going to just sort of like stamp this on the perimeters of my face or like areas that I would bronze that I don't really care if they're like brightened. I like to do loose powders typically in the center of my face. So it's kind of hard to tell really any difference just because I already had a full face of foundation on, but I feel like it feels really lightweight. It almost feels a little bit less creamy than the original, so I would be curious to compare these. If you guys want me to do like a just this with primer, let me know and I can do that in my next trying to make up video. It does feel like a little bit less creamy, a little bit thinner of a powder, so I don't know if it's as hydrating. It feels a little bit more dry, so we will continue to try this out, but let me go ahead and finish my brows and then we'll get into bronzer blush and all that. Okay, so I finished my brows and I applied some lashes. These are the Kiss Impress Lashes. These have no glue that you have to work with. So there's actually little like glue tabs on them and you just press them under your lash and then really squeeze them tight with your lash. And these have been great for me. I'm still learning what sizes work best for my eye shape and I'm playing around with different styles, but I did use the Wispy today. So I will link them down below. I think they're just super easy easy to use. You just have to kind of get over that learning curve. For bronzer, I'm just going to be using one of my favorites, which is the Fenty Beauty and Shady Biz. I don't have a new powder bronzer. This one I have gone through completely and then repurchased and I am hitting pan again. I think it's because this is just such a buildable formula and the shade that I have is not super dark for me so I can really like go in and build it up. But because of that, it's just really easy to work with. I don't have to worry about going overboard or just looking too orange or muddy. So I really love this and this shade is just my most used. Moving on to blush, you know I had to pick up the new one size blush that just came out. So this is a new shade in the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trios. The color is Attention Seeker. This is like a beautiful baby doll, but almost like a purple tinted blush. So you have a cream up here and then you have a powder and then you have sort of like a glowy topper. I mean, that's definitely leaning purple. The powder is more of like a lilac pink. And then the cream, I don't think this is my favorite cream formula out there, but I didn't have issues with it before. My only concern about this is that it really does lean cool tone, which sometimes when they have that like lilac undertone, they can be a little unflattering. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to start off with the cream because this formula is not like Patrick Ta where you kind of do the reverse. I'm just gonna use this sponge from Juvia's Place and I'm going to grab some of the cream on my sponge and then just work it into my hand first just to make sure that I don't have too much. Okay, this is what I was sort of concerned about. What's happening here? Oh my goodness. That looks horrible. <gasps> okay, I do not know what to do. Like I'm trying, oh my gosh. I'm like trying to figure out what is going on with this. I'm going to wipe that off. What happened? I don't know if it was like the actual color or the formula. I mean, I used my hand to blend it out. 
Okay, so I went ahead and removed that and reapplied and it was not easy because I had powdered so much. I'm actually going to just set this aside for now. I might add a little bit of the powder, but I'm gonna just switch gears into this NARS palette. So this is the Orgasm 4 Play Blush Quad. This is new. I am really disappointed with that blush. I had like a feeling that it was just a little too purple toned, but I was hoping it would work for me. I will keep trying it, but it's up there with the worst blush applications I've ever had. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two shades. Wait a minute, is that orgasm? Okay, no, I'm actually gonna go, well, are these like repeats? These probably are. So I'm gonna go in and mix these two shades. And I also think these blushes will go better with the eye look, but wow, that was a disaster. So these definitely have a glow to them. And I love NARS packaging. I wish they would just come out with like more shades though. Like every time they do one of these palettes, I would like to see like different shades, but I know, you know, their whole thing is like the orgasm thing, but it would be nice to see a little bit more variety. And I'm also gonna try the highlighter from this palette just because I don't have a new one. This is definitely like a glowy summer palette. And because I am curious, I am gonna go back into the one size, but I'm just going to get a tiny bit of the powder and see what I think about like that tone. If it's one of those things that the cream was the issue. So when I apply it pretty heavily, you can see that it has that like lilac purple undertone, but I feel like with the powder, it's doable. Like it doesn't look off. I'm sure it could, but I feel like if you apply it and really blend it out, you can get that like baby doll look. Like I like that, I feel like that's pretty. It doesn't really go with my eyes, but again, we're gonna try new makeup here. I mean, I think this is doable. The cream, like a huge fail. Okay, so to line my lips, I picked up one of the LYS Beauty lip liners in the color Lavish. I really like it. I've been using it here and there, and it's one of those that really hangs on, so it's long-lasting. It is a pencil form, but it's kind of like, I would say similar to Pat McGrath, but maybe a little bit more of a long-lasting formula, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. All right, and to finish off with lipstick, I'm gonna be using the last item from the BoxyCharm, which is the Give Them Lala Beauty Booty Call Liquid Lipstick. So this retails for $16. It's a matte liquid lipstick. Lala is a, I guess, TV personality. She is on the show Vanderpump Rules, which actually just came back. So she did create a makeup line. I think it was quite a while ago. Okay, so this has a soft, maybe like vanilla scent. So let's just apply. Ooh, it's pretty light. And I know that my lip liner today is light too. Very thin formula. So I'm just going to layer this just a little bit. So it's already dried down. It feels really comfortable. I love that color. I want to go in with a little bit of Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever just to define because this shade is quite light. And the lip liner that I used before is a little bit lighter for me. Okay guys, so here's my finished makeup look, trying out a bunch of new products. We have some hits, we have some misses. So let's talk about my first impressions. So the two skincare products in the BoxyCharm, it's too early to tell. This definitely felt like it really lathered up nicely, very thick, and definitely gave me that squeaky clean sort of feel. And I really liked how this felt as well on the under eye. I like that this had a nice slip to it. It didn't tug on my under eye. It was very thin. It didn't dry down sticky and it layered well under makeup. So I'll have to keep testing this out. Moving on to the eyeshadow palette. This is definitely an everyday a very soft, subtle color story. These look a little bit deeper in the pan when you swatch them. They are definitely lighter. This is not crazy metallic. It's more of a satin finish in terms of the shimmers. So this would be appropriate for every day if you like a light wash of color and you don't really want crazy depth or like a smoky eye. This is more of like your everyday grab and go, throw on a couple colors and
and you're out the door. As I said before, the Benefit Mascara definitely gives you length and it's buildable. And because it has that plastic wand, gives you a lot of volume like right at the root of your lash. So I like that it's buildable and doesn't get super clumpy or really a wet formula because then it gets all over. Now it's too soon to tell what I think about the Benefit skincare. This laid beautifully under my makeup. I really didn't have any issues. I did feel like there was a tack, but then it did seem to calm down. And the packaging is really not my favorite. It's a little bit kind of cheap feeling, but my initial impression is it's a nice gel moisturizer. I just wish they wouldn't have loaded it with fragrance. I'm still new to trying out the L'Oreal Primer, but I really do think this does help blur your pores. You guys could see, or hopefully you could see when I applied this with nothing else on, definitely looked more smooth and airbrushed on this side. So I do think this does do a great job at smoothing your pores. It also seems to mattify, which I personally like. Now the Gucci foundation, I feel like I'm going to have to keep trying it because I was kind of using a lot of products. This so far, I think it's nice. The fragrance in it is not my favorite, but it's something that doesn't hang around. Like the Juvia's Place I felt like was just there and there and there. This is not as strong. The packaging is gorgeous. If you want it to be more matte, then use a mattifying primer. And if you want it to be more of like that luminous matte, then don't because you can see on this side of my face that I look a little bit more hydrated. But with that, you can see my texture more. So I'm interested to keep trying this. I'm actually enjoying it upon my first impression, especially given the fact that I used a lot of different things. I think this may be something that I enjoy Joy, I just have to keep using it. Moving on to the Essence Concealer. Of course, the price is great. It does give a medium coverage. I would say you really can't build it more than that. It does remind me of the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Definitely has like a nice glow. It blended beautifully, but I think this is something that I would use more like every day and mixing it with a full coverage kind of matte foundation probably isn't the best, but I think it's a nice formula. They definitely need to work on their shade range 100%. Still too early to tell again on the Makeup Forever. I do wanna try this in a video coming up where I just use this and nothing else, like actually use this as a foundation. Again, I felt like it felt a little bit less powdery, less creamy, a little bit thinner, maybe a little bit more dry. So this is something that I will have to keep testing. And then the fail <laughs> of today is the cream blush in this one size. I will try it again, but that was, I mean, I couldn't come back from it. Like it was that bad. There's something about the undertone, but also, as I said, I don't think that his cream formula is like the best out there. Now the actual powder I think is beautiful and I can layer that on and it does have that lilac cool tone, but it really does just blend on the skin and you can make it work. And of course I'd have to try this moving forward, but I will keep this and enjoy it just for the powder if nothing else but I am disappointed that overall this was not like a top hit for me. Moving on to the NARS face palette. I love the packaging, I love the presentation, but I do think it's just a little bit repetitive. Now, if you're new to NARS or you don't have a ton of their palettes, this would be, you know, a great one to start with. Very glowy blushes and then a highlighter, but overall I have these like a million times over. I like the formula, but I just wanna see more variety in shades and less orgasm. I'm still really enjoying the LYS lip liner, as I said before. I do wanna get a couple more shades, just because this one is a little bit light and a little bit gray toned or cool toned. I do find that this formula wears all day. It doesn't bunch up and it really is comfortable to wear. It's not sticky or goopy. Sometimes lip liners get really gunky in the corners of my mouth. This doesn't do that, so I've been really enjoying it. And then I love this shade of the Give Them La La Beauty liquid lipstick. I also like that it dries down. I cannot do the sticky liquid lipsticks. This is a bab shade if we ever saw one, and I like that it's very thin and comfortable. So overall, those are my thoughts. We have some products that I will not be using again, or some that are just not for me, and then some that I wanna continue to test and see if they become new favorites. But I will link everything down below in my description description box that I did try on today, including BoxyCharm, which will be at the top of my description box. So sign up below to take advantage of their full size free gift with signing up right now. So all the information will be down below in my description box. As always, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if there's any of these products that you've tried or you want to try, I would love to hear your feedback down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.